The following is a Kingfisher Media Production. Hey guys, you're listening to the In the Blood podcast. I am your host, AC Bergen Fisher. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen, whether you are a new or returning listener. I'd like to invite you to consider what is being shared with an open mind and a receptive heart. Before we begin, though, the following disclaimer. I am a coach, not a therapist. Everything I share is opinion-based and from personal experience. If you require therapy, I'd be happy to help you explore your options. For those who would prefer coaching with me, that could be arranged via email at inthebloodpod at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to support this project for as little as $5, you can do so by visiting buymeacoffee.com slash in the blood pod. I recently had someone dismiss me with, okay, Mr. Life Coach, because they had observed something fairly obvious about me, which is that I haven't resolved all of my issues. I still struggle with unhealthy trauma responses, and in many ways, I'm kind of broken. I know that they thought they had delivered a cut to the bone insult, which would ruin my day, but the effect was actually very different. I already knew from extensive familiarity with this individual where the need to attack me was coming from. So I wasn't able to get angry about it. If anything, I felt sad for them that they were in a position where it seemed reasonable to elevate themselves through attempting to diminish me. Ironically, the comment actually serves to build me up. It built me up because I did take the time to consider the truth about their statement. That truth is no source of shame for me, though. It is what it is, and I'm fine with that. Anyone who's listened to any of my podcast appearances, either on this show or any others I've been on over the past several years, already knows that I make no effort to conceal my malfunctions. I see the benefit in transparency. It's not a let it all hang out because who cares thing either. And this isn't limited to my capacity as a coach. Everything I'm going to share today could just as easily apply to anyone who is trying to effectively support someone they care about. So what are some of the benefits of unresolved issues for me as a coach? Life coaching is a profession which is dedicated to supporting others in achieving personal growth, overcoming challenges, and realizing their full potential. It may seem illogical on the surface, but having unresolved issues can actually provide significant advantages for me as a coach. These unresolved aspects of my own life often serve as sources of empathy, insight, and relatability in my practice, ultimately enhancing my ability to connect with and advise my clients effectively. One of the primary benefits of having unresolved issues as a life coach is the deepening of empathy. Because I have personally experienced challenges and struggles, I think I can relate more authentically to my clients' difficulties. This firsthand understanding allows me to empathize on a profound level, acknowledging the emotions and complexities involved in overcoming obstacles. I'd like to think that clients feel more understood and supported when they sense that I genuinely comprehend the specific challenges of their journey. Empathy is a cornerstone of my approach as it helps to establish trust and rapport between myself and the person I'm walking with. When I share my own experience of grappling with unresolved issues, 
it creates a safe and non-judgmental space for them to explore their own struggles. This connection allows for a deeper level of communication and collaboration, which enhances the overall effectiveness of this joint venture of healing. Unresolved issues also enhance my understanding of human behavior and emotions. Because I've navigated and continue to navigate my own challenges, I've developed a better perspective on the nuances of psychological and emotional dynamics. I truly believe that because of this, I've gained insights into patterns, triggers, and coping mechanisms that might have otherwise eluded me. This understanding allows me to tailor my approach to each client's unique needs. By drawing from personal experience, I can offer practical and empathetic guidance that resonates with their individual circumstance. This depth of understanding enables me to provide more effective strategies for managing stress, building resilience, and fostering personal growth. Having unresolved issues can fuel my own personal growth and development. Wait, what? <laughs> it's true, though. Because I'm actively and transparently working through my own stuff, I'd like to think that I lead by example through demonstrating a commitment to continuous and relentless self-improvement. This commitment not only benefits me as a coach personally, but also shows others that it is possible to embark on their own journeys of growth and transformation. My approach is based on this. When clients witness their coach's authenticity and vulnerability, they're encouraged to confront their own unresolved issues with the same courage and determination. Coaches who openly share their experiences of overcoming challenges serve as role models for resilience and perseverance. This shared journey of personal growth creates a sense of camaraderie and mutual support within a relationship, fostering a collaborative atmosphere focused on the pursuit of meaningful change. Unresolved issues have nurtured and continue to nurture authenticity and transparency in my practice. I openly acknowledge my struggles because if I can't demonstrate humility and integrity, I can't create a safe and supportive environment for already hurting clients to explore vulnerabilities that they have been in the habit of hiding, sometimes for many, many years. This authenticity builds trust and invites openness, allowing clients to engage more fully in the coaching process. In my experience, people are infinitely more likely to connect with a coach who embraces their own imperfections and demonstrates a genuine desire to grow. By embracing their unresolved issues, effective coaches empower others to embrace their own humanity and by extension, start to realize their own strengths. Lastly, unresolved issues provide valuable teaching tools for me. When I have successfully navigated my own challenges, I can offer insights from my experience and practical advice and strategies based on real life wisdom. The same is true when I am actively in the midst of a struggle. This firsthand knowledge enhances my ability to guide clients through similar situations, providing practical steps for overcoming obstacles and achieving goals. Any coach worth their salt will leverage their personal experiences to illustrate key concepts, inspire motivation, and facilitate meaningful change. By sharing stories of resilience and triumph, I think we demonstrate the transformative power of perseverance and self-discovery. In conclusion, Having unresolved issues can be hugely beneficial for me as a coach. These unresolved aspects of my own life deepen empathy, enhance my understanding of human behavior and emotions, 
fuel personal growth and development, nurture authenticity and transparency, and provide valuable teaching tools. By embracing my own challenges and vulnerabilities, I hope to create a foundation of trust and compassion that empowers others to navigate their own journey of self-discovery and transformation. Ultimately, the process of addressing unresolved issues not only benefits me, but also enriches the joint experience for both myself and the person I'm walking with. This week, my friends, remember that it's okay to offer help even if you feel like your own life is in shambles. Sometimes it's because you're damaged that you're in a position to offer healing and understanding. I hope that at least some of you have found this helpful. And if you've got thoughts on this or anything else that has been shared, feel free to reach out via email in the blood at gmail.com. If not, until next time, much love. <laughs>